Welcome to Afters with Matty. I'm joined by Tom Manerton, a knight of ease. Gladly agreed to come on it. He's the nine of crew in Nanwich, and I'm joined by Big Richard Carr, as we call him, Big Dick Carr. <laughs> He's our big number eight. I'll start with you, Tom. Obviously, I've been lucky enough to play in both fixtures this year, and boy, oh boy, even though I only got 10 minutes today, I am very, very sore. What kind of talk me through kind of your game plan for today? Uh, we thought it'd be nicer weather. So that, that wasn't. <laughs> don't, don't we all, brother? That wasn't a great start, and then uh, after that, we saw the rain came off the bus, um, and we're a bit cold. I think yeah. it took us 40 minutes to get over the cold, and then 40 minutes to learn to catch. So game plan went out the window quite quickly, to be honest. But we thought we'd go round it, and then we didn't. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, a bit of the same story for us in the first yeah. half. I think we conceded six six penalties in 15 minutes. Yeah. Uh, it's, t it's tough to stick to a game plan when you've got to mix it up when you've when you've got the, the crew again you've got against you sort of thing. But there, like our game plan was to mix in that variation, try and get a bit more sort of working off the first receiver going inside outside to try and sort of get, keep keep the defence guessing. And as you say, the, the weather put pain into yeah. that after a while, didn't it? Try passing it. Yeah. yeah. And obviously, <laughs> if I have to put my crew hat on, obviously it'd probably be unfortunate to come away with the loss today, but. I think the scoreline was 28-15, which just shows how close the game was. Kind of what was the feeling after the game as a crew player? Uh, because there must have been... <laughs> I, I reckon your coach must have had an aneurysm with some of the chances that you missed. Yeah, we did say we probably left about four or five chances where if we take them, we win the game, don't we? Yeah. Um, and I blame the centres for not passing it inside <laughs> to me. So, <laughs> you know... It goes online, you know. Exactly. We can send it, it goes to the centres. Well, good. They need to see it. I mean, <laughs> um, but no, uh, we probably did leave a few chances out there with the weather, um, and yeah, we did. We did say that we probably on a different day we play a bit different. We back our skill set a bit more because we a few times where we were a bit uh, a bit afraid to just put ourselves in there and test ourselves in the weather. Yeah, which was the opposite for us today, Dicky. We. Yeah. We, we took our chances, but we also played some smart rugby going for free. Yeah. As, as a side, we're quite a young side. How do, you, how do you think we've evolved to become kind of that street smart? So we've learned to cooler heads prevail, basically. We, we saw the opportunities and we took them where they were. We saw the opposition maybe going for, going for chances that we would have gone for in the past and it not working out for them because of the, because of the weather, because of whatever. And we thought, let's get the points, get the board taken over and keep ourselves up on top. Perfect. Obviously, was it your 150th anniversary this year? Wow. Uh, 100th, 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 so yeah, I your, think then. You've had your 100th anniversary this year. And we've uh, lost you twice, yeah. I was going to be nice, <laughs> well. but I was going to mainly bring up that you were promoted last season. Yeah. Is this, is, it, is this one of the, as it was your last game today, is this... Has this been a good season for crew, bad season, indifferent? How do, how, uh, how do you guys feel? Probably a good season, to be fair, I think. Since January, we had a very good run of results. Um, we've only lost what two two games to yourselves, and then old, oh, and we lost last week three games. Um, <laughs> but yeah, good run of results since January put us mid table, which is pretty good finish considering where we came from. And I don't think too many people thought too much of us coming into it, and we've proved a few people wrong, which is nice. Well, take it from me, guys. Crew and Nam, which are tougher than two dollar steaks, they hit they hit you like they. You like you all them the kitchen sink, Dicky. Yeah. Well, we've only got one game left. We've so, obviously yeah. a big derby against Hereford. What do you think we need to take from this week into next week to hopefully get another positive result? Let's just take our learnings from this, from the game that we, like I said, cooler heads prevail. We kept the scoreboard ticking over. We took the opportunities when they needed to be, and we just played the rugby that was in front of us. Perfect. Congratulations on your man of the match. Have a surf Thank journey. Thank you very <laughs> much. Has he just found out? Yeah, he's just found out. <laughs> that, as always, with us as with Matty, uh, like our Facebook, share our Facebook, stalk us on Twitter, stalk us on Pornhub, Instagram, wherever we are. At, Thank you for watching. At Crew and Antwitch, RUFC. And yeah, give, yeah. give Crew a follow as well. They're good people. Good content. Good and content. they know how to throw a party from the away game last season. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks very much.